Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Well, Susie, there's no need for you to be like that. Of course, there's no need for me to be like that. Meow. Okay, everybody. Welcome to your weekly dose of Tea and Token Thursdays, where we talk tea and token, and we celebrate and embrace other fandoms. Okay, Carrie, you and I were watching Torn Tuesday. What happened? Well, after last week's shocking news about the firing of all the writers for the Token Anthology series, things seem to have calmed down somewhat. Well, and we have a laundry list of everybody, of the directors who were involved in it. Good. Including... That one to the third guy who helped do Game of Thrones. And was responsible for five out of the top ten best episodes of Game of Thrones. Yay! And we'll get back to Game of Thrones later because and something far more important. Okay then everybody. It's time to talk about... About what? Are you feeling bombed because you're stuck at home and you got nothing to do? Well, I got some good news for you. Tea and Talk at Thursdays is available on YouTube. So if you got nothing better to do, then sit out and binge watch us. Yeah, sit down, binge watch our videos. <laughs> yeah, and see how far we came. I know how far we have to go. Because there's a lot of projects we have yet to finish. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm surprised Loki hasn't showed up yet. Yeah. Where is Loki? Well, until Loki shows up, let's talk Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Y yep. In the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, we are going to, they're probably going to play it off as a buddy cop. Yep, a buddy cop series, along with some political ramifications. And, uh, and Sam Wilson asking himself, Am I re do I really want to be playing the part of Captain America? Look, Sam, everybody loves you. Everyone believes in you. You're going to make a great Captain America. I know, because I said so. And if you don't think he becomes Captain America... Read the comics, because it happens. Oh, yeah. But the government's already got their own Captain America, a man named John Walker. He may be a good soldier, but uh, he's got his own ways of getting things done. And plus, Red Skull was probably responsible for ruining his life. But I'm pretty sure that could be Zemo. Yep. Okay. Let's do Zemo! Okay, who is Zemo? Once again, the man who destroyed the Avengers. Bam! What a tragedy! Bam! I know. And don't worry, he's gonna be paying for that. That's right. But there's a couple of things we want to see. <laughs> Look. We want to see Zemo pay for his crimes. Yep. We want to see Bucky resolve his differences, too, with him. Yep. Like, Zemo says, Ah, ha, ha, you can work for me again. And Bucky looks at him like, Excuse me, buddy? I ain't working for you no more. In fact, <laughs> I've been... <laughs> I got a new friend now. And I got a nice, look, you can't tell me what to do no more. I went to Wakanda. And when I went to Wakanda, they gave me the cure. If you want to try and control me again, well, you're going to have to take it up with Shuri. Uh-huh. And I can't wait to see Shuri in the face. Ah, I want to see her punch him in the face so hard.
because Zemo made her father die. Ah! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? Sorry.、Uh, yeah, we want to look. We look. okay. Thing is, it's gonna be played off like some kind of buddy cop movie. Buddy cop? Yeah, a buddy cop movie. Yeah, you know, like one of those stereotypical buddy cop movies. Ah, <sighs> buddy cop movies. Yeah, like, like here it is. What? The thing is, what is it? First of all, you have Sam, the straight lace cop, the guy who he he goes at it serious. Like, say there's a bad guy. And he got busted, and Sam walks in and says, "Okay, buddy, we got some questions for you." And then Bucky charges in, going, "We want answers, and we want them now. You got nowhere else to run, so you better start squealing." <laughs> Great. So they're going, they're doing the old good cop, bad cop. Yeah, we're gonna do the <clears throat> the uh. Look, good Captain America, bad Captain America. Like, uh, uh, what happens when we? What? Like, we need to see. Do they ever team up in the comics? Yeah, they team in the comics. Of course, there was this one comic strip panel where a woman is like. Oh my! Y'all don't even know what you're doing, don't you? And then Sam's like, "Ma'am, we're superheroes. Of course, we know what we're doing." And the Bucky says, "Yeah, but、uh, you could just、uh, explain to us what's going on, so we could all be on the same page." <laughs> really? Wow, that that's a little painful. Yeah, but not to worry though. We need a re. Look, we need real scenes like that. Yeah, but the thing is, <sighs> the thing is, though, we have, we have Sam and Bucky. Now they have to learn how to work together, and not have Captain America around, or Steve. We don't have Steve. Okay. To be honest, though, we're gonna miss Steve. Yeah, we're gonna miss Steve. Oh, look, <laughs> it's a meme. It says, "Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson. He who inherits the shield also inherits Bucky." And then Sam Wilson to Bucky's face. I would rather die. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, he would rather die. I'm like, good question. Listen here, I got a good question for you. What is it? Thing is, Sam a buggy is a buddy cop show. <clears throat> of course, Sam doesn't think that he's worthy of playing Captain America. Come on, being Captain America is a very big responsibility. We can't. Yeah, and we don't need to see anybody screwing around. Yep, the last person who thought they could play Captain America <sighs> thought it would be funny to put on a. I mean, a very, very, very bad costume. And you want to know what happened? Hmm. What? Everybody who worked on that movie was asked to leave politely, and it was awkward for everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, 
But can I take a second to pray for whoever designed Iron Man 1978's costume? Yeah. <laughs> because that was dumb. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and look at that. Now, there's other... There's another guy out there who is Captain America. Who... Who could give Sam a little bit of advice. Uh, here's some advice. His name would be Elijah Bradley. And, and then he was chosen to be Captain America. Because hey, there was no Steve after 1943. Nice score, Steve. Learn to, learn, learn to take some flying lessons. <clears throat> yeah. I feel to you, Steve Rogers. Ah! <sighs> you see? Look at that. You're worse than Steve Trevor. At least Steve Trevor knew how to fly a plane. <sighs> You'll crash your plane to the ice. Ah! Okay. Now. <clears throat> uh, yeah. As you can see, they are prob they are definite. Look, the way Marvel's going, they're definitely setting up the Young Avengers. Yeah, look, we're already getting our Spider Man. We're gonna get Shuri as Black Panther. Harley Keener will be Iron Lad. Cassie Lang will be Stinger. And then we are definitely gonna get. Kate Bishop as Hawkeye and, and next look they're already throwing it look we could, we might as well toss in Kamala Khan yep and then we got Speed and Wiccan who are Wanda's and Vision kids I mean how do they have kids I know same thing happened to comics yeah comics are weird <laughs> and uh and then eventually, let Tom Hiddleston's Loki go out with a bag. Boom. 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 But, thing is, what? <sighs> Look, at the end of Thor, Love and Thunder, Loki goes out. With a bang. But then. End credit scene. Sees a little boy running through the streets of Paris. He turns to the screen. And winks at the audience. And then you see these words. <laughs> Loki will return. With the young Avengers. Yes. As little kid Loki. Well we need to have somebody. Play little kid Loki. Then. Okay. So where's our little kid Loki? Yeah. Let's find little kid Loki. <sighs> yeah. How do we get little kid Loki? Oh. Did somebody say me? Oh great. It's Loki. As a little kid. Ah. Oh yeah. This is way too good to be true. Yep, I'm going to be a young Avenger. <laughs> wow, well, God, you're a hero. Yay! <sighs> All right, isn't that great? So, here's what else we got. What? What is it? Uh, the thing is, having little kid Loki with the young Avengers would be a good idea. And besides, being a hero is good for you, Loki. Really? Being a hero is good for me? And I'm supposed to be listening to a bunch of weird little toys. Ah, uh, we are little as pet shop toys. Yeah. I mean, what's so wrong about that? 
<sighs> ah, ow. There's only one thing to do. What? Uh, the thing is, uh, the thing is, uh, look, we're gonna have the buddy cop system for Bucky and the, and Sam. We got you, Loki. <laughs> yeah, finally, my own TV show. It better be good, and you all better watch it. Ugh, I'm tired of you annoying little toys. Always talking about poor and not me. Ugh. I know. <sighs> and then the next thing is, uh, uh, we also got the, the, Thing is, though, oh, look. <laughs> hey, look, I found some leaked footage from Falcon and Winter Soldier. <sighs> Bucky says, Do you think pigeons have feelings? Sam says, I'm going to give you one more chance to shut up, Barnes. Oh, wow. Now that is some good footage. <sighs> <sighs> That is some good footage. Okay. Let me tell you something. Oh, look. It's Sam. Isn't he great? <laughs> but don't worry. Well, let's go back to Zemo and how he's got to farm the Thunderbolts. Yeah. And then, of course, though. Pretty soon, there all were a whole bunch of fake heroes. And these fake heroes are like, Oh, look at us, we're heroes. And then some of them liked the idea of being heroes. And they liked it so much that they actually became superheroes. And not only did they become superheroes, they kicked Zemo to the curb. Kick. Yeah, it's like Marvel's version of the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Only without Harley Quinn. <laughs> well, somebody's got to be the Harley Quinn of the group. I'm guessing Screamy Mimi. And she will probably wear a bad outfit. <laughs> One so bad, the, the actors playing her would be very embarrassed to wear. Yeah, very embarrassed. Ah, so, we're going to have the body cop comedy first with the Suicide Squad type mashup. And somebody tried to replace Captain America, but he's not Captain America. Okay? And besides, even if he could be Captain America, there's no way he can wear that uniform. And there's double no way he is going to get America's butt. <laughs> you guys must love that joke, don't you? Yep. <sighs> well, and uh, you just got to pretend. Uh, do I even know you? Ah, yeah. Uh, here's how the Falcon of Winter Star Soldier needs to start. Everybody goes, Sam and Bucky stand in front of City Hall. A whole bunch of people are there. Everybody's holding up their phones and recording. There's some news stations there. And Sam takes a deep breath and says these words. A few weeks ago, we lost our good friend Steve Rogers. And then Sam in the back going, Quit telling everyone I'm dead! Bucky sits next to him saying, Sometimes, sometimes, I can still hear his voice. <laughs> well, look, I'm sorry, Steve, but, uh, 
you're no longer in the land of the living. Uh huh. In the land of the living. Yeah, like Steve's like, stop telling your mom dad. Like Steve, everybody thinks you're dead. Okay, and if you weren't, you're too old to be Captain America. Wait, 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 wait. They need to do that one scene, that one, that one story in She-Hulk where, she, where Jennifer defends Steve in court. Daredevil is the prosecuting attorney. Jennifer defends Steve, and then they find out the ugly truth, and somebody gets his butt kicked really, really hard by Jennifer. <laughs> yep, I hope she punches that guy in the face. Yes, in the face. Punch that. Ah, if you don't punch that guy in the face, ugh, I'm like, listen up, losers. What? I'm sorry. This is how the show starts. <laughs> Look, Steve is no longer in the land of the living. Yeah. And now we just got Sam and Bucky. And Sam and Bucky are like, I like. <laughs> They're like, I like everyone. It's Falcon and the Wonder Soldier. I'm sorry. I don't know how that. I don't even know how that happened. What? Turn that sound off. Turn that sound off. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The, the thing is, though, we want to see that happen. Yeah. And of course, we got more characters. Sharon Carter will be making her way back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And she'll probably be. She'd be like, oh, man, I miss my uncle. Poor dude. Well, at least he's with Aunt Peggy now. And oh, Okay. And then... <sighs> oh, see, look at that. Oh, look, here's another leaked footage from the Falcon and Winter Soldier. <sighs> Bucky says... Now, Sam says to Bucky, you took out the entire bar? Tell me they're a hydro or aim or something, please. And Bucky's like, no, nah, just warrants. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So how are they morons? Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Wait. I I know how the fuck the, this, this show's going to be. Hi, welcome to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Show. You made the Winter Soldier and Falcon Show. I said what I said. I was born first. And you'll die first, too. Everybody, stop being so salty. Ah! Okay, folks. Now, before we go on any further, it's time to break for gossip. Gossip! Yeah. Black Widow is coming out as schedule. Can May 1st just get here already? I want my Black Widow movie. Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, remember when I said we'd get back to Game of Thrones? Yeah. Uh, we have some sad news. What? Max von Sydow, the man who played Blood Raven in Game of Thrones, died on Monday at the age of 90. 90? Whoa. <laughs> I know. People are living a whole lot longer these days. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Weird. He was also in Star Wars. But the role that made him most famous was he was a priest in a movie called The Exorcist. Okay, stop, please stop. Okay, that thing's too scary. Of course. In 2013, they celebrated 40 years of The Exorcist. Back when it was made, it was seen as terrifying. People were screaming. People were crying. People were throwing up. And they're like, oh my god, this is terrifying. Ah, but in Linda Blair's case, 
The devil made her do it. Of course, the <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. They kicked that monster to the curb, and the kid made a full recovery. Good. But that was scary. I cast Max von Settle was also in Star Wars, but <sighs> darn, what was his character again? But him as Blood Raven, he was exactly the way a Blood Raven should be portrayed. Old, full of wisdom regrets, and willing to pass on his knowledge to the next generation. Yeah, but then he died because of stupid Night King. I feel to you, Night King! <laughs> we really could have used this help and... Ah! Uh. Don't worry. I'm sure he paid for that. Oh. Oh, he's definitely going to pay for that. In the books. Oh, yeah. He would definitely pay for that in, in the books. <sighs> so. Now. I know many of you are like, Oh, man. How am I going to... How are we going to beat this coronavirus? Don't worry. You're already beating it. Stay home and watch our show. On YouTube. You can see it as a playlist. And. And be. And be ready. For Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Because it's coming out on Disney Plus in August. But before that. In July. Marvel Land's going to open up. At Disneyland. Yep. And that's time to roll. With your favorite Marvel hero. Whoop whoop. Okay folks. Let's time everybody else to say and say home, but we're gonna chance to say all about the hype train. Do do. Next stop. What? What's the next stop? Next stop is Black Widow. Black Widow. Yep, Black Widow. All right. So we're all getting on the hype train. Next stop. If we're going to Black Widow Land. Whoop whoop. And then. So let's get on this hot train. Let's go. Okay everybody. <clears throat> Thank you all very much for watching our show. Even though we talked more about Falcon and Winter Soldier. And less talking about who cares. I care. Uh oh. Yeah. It's me. Loki. You didn't talk about my show like you promised. Oh, come on, Loki. We're, uh, I mean, we were going to talk about the show. Uh, yeah, but we're almost out of time. <sighs> uh oh. Oh, no. She's mad. Don't worry. She's not going to hurt us much. Oh, I will hurt you. And when I get done hurting you, you are all. Going to pay. How much money? Are we talking dollars or cents? Pay. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll pay. Okay, folks. <clears throat> Thank y'all very much for tuning into this podcast. And uh, take care of yourselves out there. This thing is weird. Yeah, 2020 is weird, but that ain't nothing compared to 2021. I know. You, if you think 2020 is weird, just wait till 2030 when Avatar 2 finally comes out in theaters and everybody lost interest and it flopped. Sorry, James Cameron. Avatar 2 is never going to surpass Endgame. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> With that, I must say this. You know who I am, and you know what this is about. So, peace. Everybody stay awesome. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. 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 Me.